Hello, welcome back to my series on Elite Dangerous. This small short video will basically cover what's new in Beta 3. Um, as you can see in this little snippet, you can see that we now have faction ratings. So this is something that's new to Beta 3. Here you can see that you are now able to store multiple ships if I try and purchase the ship here you can see it gives us the option to buy this ship and put it in another garage you can basically have as many ships as you like now so that's a great new addition this is one of the new ships also new to beta 3 obviously which is the federal drop ship um, I've never actually came across one of these yet, but I do quite look the, like the look of them. Quite expensive though, as you can see, 37, almost 38 million, so I think it'll be a while before I get the chance to have a look at one of these. But a nice addition nonetheless. As you can see now, you also get information on the ship under the name there. This is also new. You never used to get any ship information, so again, a great addition. This is the Imperial Clipper, which is the second one of the two ships that are new to be the three. Um, obviously, this is quite expensive as well. 22, nigh on 22 and a half million. So I'd look forward to getting to see one of these. I really like the design of this ship and it, it looks beautiful. I love the organic lines to it. Very nice, very streamlined. This is the ASP, which isn't technically new to Beta 3. This was introduced in Beta 2, to my knowledge. I just thought I would quickly show what the ASP looks like, seeing as I showed the Federal Dropship and the Imperial Clipper. Also new to Beta 3 coming up is um, basically a, a much bigger playable area as you can see now from, from this um, snippet of the galaxy map. We've went from, I believe it was about um, 500 star systems in beta 2 to something like 2400 star systems in beta 3 so generally speaking a much much bigger playable area um, on top of that coming up in the next small snippet of video we have the ability to show routes now so if I highlight the place where I want to go you can then see um, the quickest route there or the most economical route to take displayed by the yellow line which is visible now on top of this we also have mining if you want to see about that please see my separate YouTube video we also of course have quite a lot of fixes bug fixes and stability improvements okay so that'll be it for this video as per usual please comment like subscribe I'd really appreciate the support I look forward to seeing you all in the next video thanks very much